Hello, this is Adam with XLaser. Today I'm going to show you how to patch and do the initial setup for a laser featuring Mercury on an Avalites console. What I've got right now just to show you is the Avalites Titan 1 software. And then directly underneath the control panel area I've got a live output preview of the laser as we're working with it. So I started with an empty show file just so that we don't have any confusion among what's what. I'm going to go to patch. I'm going to patch new fixtures. Pull up X laser, and I'm going to go to Mercury. And here you'll see that we've got three different profiles. We've got the advanced builder, the basic builder, and then the master. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and patch a six channel master. I'm just going to go ahead and label it as Master Mercury. And I'm going to patch one of the advanced builders. So it starts at address 7, takes up 85 channels, and I'm just going to leave this one as Mercury. So we patch it as two separate fixtures because the first one, the master, we're going to basically use that for our setup and then we're going to lock it out. And then the builder is what we're going to be using for all of our actual show content. So now that I've got those patched, I'm going to come here into the master mercury. I'm going to go to special and I'm going to move encoder one over here to builders enabled. We've got a couple different features here. One is just the default which is disabled. Next is external input which takes an ILDA input and allows you to scale it. And then builders enabled. Builders enabled is the mode that we're going to stick with for this so I'm going to go ahead and actually just freeze that so that we can't exit out of it. If I come over to the beam menu, you'll see that we've got our scale and offset. We'll come back to that. And then intensity, which currently is at zero. I'm going to exit the master and I'm going to go to the builder now. Inside of the builder, I'm just going to go ahead and hit locate. And you'll see that there's no output, and I'll explain why in just a moment. But that takes our intensity up to full. It puts us on page one, pattern one for our gobo. So I'm actually going to go ahead and go up to page 256 pattern 1 and that'll give us our largest possible test pattern and that'll give us the maximum possible output we can get once we increase the intensity on the master. So now going back to the master, I'll come to the intensity and I'll start slowly bringing this up just until I'm barely able to see the laser. I want to keep this as low power as possible for the initial zoning. Crank it up a little bit so that you can see it better on the camera here. Okay, so with that, I'm now going to go to Beam. And in here, I can go ahead and do my scaling. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scale this to, we'll do it 75%. on the X and the Y. Then I can do my offset. So say I'm trying to shoot it over an audience. I can go ahead and go to my Y offset. And I can make sure that we are up overhead there. Once I have these set, I'm going to select these. I'm going to undo what I just did there. And I'm going to freeze them. That way, no matter what, I can't come back and push something out of the zone so it's not going to come in contact with the audience or anything like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and freeze all of the master channels. Now, nothing I can do here. They're frozen. No way I can get them into the audience area. Last thing I'm going to do in the master is I'm going to go ahead and bump the intensity up to 100% now that I'm at full, or now that I'm, now that I'm in a safe area. 
and I'm going to freeze that one too. So now I've got all of the channels in the master frozen, and I don't need to access that again. I can actually go ahead and just move that out of the way so that I'm not even going to have to mess with it. Now in the standard mercury item, I can go ahead and locate that fixture. And the locate gives us a 50% size circle of our full size at full intensity on just plain white. I'm going to go ahead and drop the intensity a little bit so that you can see this better on the camera. So now that we're sized, I'm going to show you what some of the effects of that are without getting too deep into it because we've got a whole series of videos coming up. I'm going to go ahead and go into our attribute editor here. And we're going to make this take up a bit more space. So I'm going to come down here to prism mode. I'm going to put the three times radial on there. I'm going to leave our spacing at full. Now I'm going to give it a movement effect. So come in here to effect one. And we're going to give it a elliptical orbit. So now you can see it's got that invisible box, which was where we told it exactly is where is safe to stay. And it's making sure that before anything exits that invisible box, it squishes it so that we can't accidentally enter an area we're not trying to do. So that's why it's important to set up your masters first before you start getting into all the rest of this.